Hello my lovelies, welcome to my 31 days of Halloween nail art. This year's entire series is going to be a collaboration with Katie from Hot Pink Zebra Polish. And for today's tutorial we are doing Dead Body. Katie's video will be linked down below in my description box so be sure to check out her video as well. But in the meantime let's get started on today's design. Using Ugly Ducklings colour number 044, paint one coat of white gel polish on the entire hang nail. On, hang on, hang on, hang on. With this complete you need to cure it in your LED light for a full minute. Then using Ugly Ducklings colour 043 and a fine liner brush, draw two vertical lines down the centre of the nail and four horizontal going across the nail. Keep these lines as evenly spaced as possible and then start colouring in every second square. If it makes you feel more comfortable you can flash cure after colouring in each black square. This will make sure you don't smudge any previous squares you have painted. Cure all your painted work and then you need to add a matte top coat to seal in this design. This matte top coat will also require curing in your LED light for a full minute. Next, use some red gel polish and just add splatters of blood to the top left and bottom right of this nail. Cure that in your light and then add no wipe top coat over it to seal in that blood design. <laughs> Next you need to cut out four evenly sized wires and set them aside for the moment. Using clear acrylic and a nail form, place a bead down and start sculpting it into a long rectangle. You need to keep in mind that this rectangle needs to be a bit narrower than the nail, but you also want to make sure that it is on the thicker side. The thickness of the acrylic will serve the purpose to hold the little wires which we cut out earlier. Insert the wires into each corner of the rectangle and then reinforce them with some extra acrylic at the base of each wire. Then we can start sculpting out little legs using Le Chat's bare skin. With those complete set them aside to dry and then on a nail form place four silver dots and pat them and press them so they look like tiny little wheels. You can set those aside to dry as well and then your legs should be ready for the next step. Pick up the legs and place them onto the bed, hold them in position and secure them using a small bead of clear acrylic. With the legs in place then place a bead of nude coloured acrylic at the centre of the bed and this will represent the belly of the dead body. Dead body. With the head use an extra dry bead because we need it to protrude as high as possible. And then on the form backing paper sculpt out two sausages and before they dry pick them up and place them onto the dead body. Keep in mind this does not need to be perfect because we're going to cover this dead body with a sheet later on. So by now your wheels would have dried and you can use some nail glue to attach them to the end of your metal legs. Now you can place the bed on the nail and secure it in position using some clear acrylic. Using a very thin piece of white plastic cut it out into a long rectangle and place it over the body. Apply heat to it using your hair dryer and then you'll see that the plastic has formed to the dead body underneath. You can take the plastic off, apply glue to the dead body and then reapply the plastic making sure the mould fits onto the dead body and hold it in position and the glue will hold this plastic sheet in place. Next you can trim the plastic sheet so it's not hanging too far down and then you can use some red gel polish to start adding blood splatters onto the dead body. Don't forget to cure this gel work and then this design is ready for reveal. And here is my completed design for our theme dead body. What do you think of it? Be sure to let me know down below in the comments. 
Also, don't forget to head over to Katie's channel to check out her version of Dead Body. I have linked her video down below in the description box, so don't forget to head over there and check that out now. So that's it for today's tutorial. Be sure to join us here again tomorrow for our next episode of 31 Days of Halloween. And in the meantime, if you would like to watch another video, Black Kitty here recommends this one for you, while I recommend this one. Which one will you choose? I'll see you all next time. Bye!